African Terror Baby. Hello, my Gucci Spectre Scarabshes, delectable and delicious Gemini. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are doing your general energy vibe check for March. We're going to see what new fishies are swimming at you in the sea of love in the spring season. All right, it's almost springtime, baby. I'm so excited. We're going to see what new fishies are coming at you. Who's getting deleted from the database? Who was unworthy? All right. <laughs> Ah, oh, but Bill, your mommy's always in a, I'm always in the swirling energy. Uh, Gemini, I just did some reads yesterday at a medieval castle and the readings are crazy. The wind kept taking the cards from, uh, from my hands, so check them out as well. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus in March 2024? Yes, 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 girl. Mm, don't let, don't, mm-mm, mm-mm, yes and no. Don't let the don't let the boobies get you down, all right? Someone's trying to get you down. The Eight of Swords. This is the, the overarching crowning energy. Gemini, I'm getting triggered already. Don't let some douche flute. I don't know who's telling you this. Could be a family member, somebody. There's like a nagging little energy, like a little, you know, like a little cockroach in our midst. Somebody's telling you that you're not worthy. Or somebody's telling you that you're you're not okay. You're never going to find the love that you're manifesting. But, boo, it's not true, okay? You exist. That person exists. Angela Venus told me this, all right? She told us all this in a video once. If you follow Angela Venus, uh, you know who it is. And if you don't, check her out. She's always linked in the description box below. Also, the music on this channel is by Angela Venus. She is an amazing tarot reader. And she said that about, like, high vibrational love once. And I, it's just stuck with me. Like, because someone said, well, how do I know if I'm ever going to find someone for me? Maybe I should just settle for a douche flute. And she said, well, I know that person exists for me because I exist. Boop, boop. It is what it is. Okay, Gemini, you know, you're all about the mind. You're, you're the brilliant genius of the Zodiac. So you exist. That, uh, that, that B exists as well. Don't let nobody tell you they don't. And it could be an ex as well or someone that you're trying to get over or like, you know, uh, a negative energy douche flute in your life who's trying to tell you. Uh, well, you're never going to find someone better than me. Yeah, you know, I might be subpar and I smell and I have like greasy hair and I don't do anything for you, but you know, that's all there is out. It's not true, but Bill. Okay, I'm getting triggered. Just don't listen to that, okay? And don't think. Also, maybe it's your inner voice. Whatever your situation is, if it's your inner voice telling you that, Gemini, it is not true, okay? Your mom is telling you this. <clears throat> What's crossing you is commitment. The heart font. Commit to the role. Commit to what you want, all right? Dress for success. Think like, you know, think in abundance. Think that you, you want the commitment, people. You want the higher font. You want that beautiful, perfect marriage. You want the picket fence or you want, want you, whatever you want, yeah? Crazy affair, whatever you're manifesting, commit to it because it's coming. It was written for you. This is your path, okay? And your spirit guides can see you. This is such a beautiful reading, baby. Even your, your mom, I'm not angry, but I'm just triggered. Your spirit guides can see you from the other side and they're like, they're watching and they, they praise you for all the hard work that you've done throughout your lifetime and that person that's meant for you is going to cross your path and it's soon. This is crossing you right now. So commitment is crossing you, but Bill, you are in your abundance and your abundant manifesting energy, the Empress, but you're not appreciating it because you have the Eight of Swords. You're not appreciating that you're an Empress, Emperor, anyone in between, but Bill. You're so great and wonderful. Everybody wants a piece of you. And we know that anyway because you're a Gemini. But you know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm just... Oh, my gosh, Pippo. I had, like... I saw a, a couple of bugs in my house a couple of weeks ago. And I've been, like... Every time I see something uh, out of the corner of my eye, I'm like, oh, my God, is it a bug? Because uh, your mommy has... You know, I'm scared. <laughs> we all have our little Achilles heel. But, you know, what's coming up here is uh, the Empress. So... Let me know if you're scared of bugs. Um, the Empress here, I think it's like past life stuff for a lot of people, you know, because um, uh, it's like super strong with me. Uh, the Empress here is um, just so great, Pippo. It's almost like I see you being someone having a path in life, in love, and not only in love, where a lot of people were nugging you, a lot of people were attacking you, a lot of people were telling you you're not worthy because you were so much above them. And I'm not not just saying that to uh, you know to to add to your ego or you know to get in there without Vaseline. <laughs> I'm just saying, all right. I'm just saying, Gemini. This is the path of a lot of star seeds. This 
um, th this empress, this goddess, she has stars in her hair, like, and she always does, you know, there's stars in her, like, there's stars uh, above her and stars right here. So she's adorned by the, by the stars. This is star seed energy. This is the energy of someone who's high vibrational without trying. We're born that way, but Bill, and don't you forget it. And a lot of people like that, when they get into relationships with low vibrational people, they feel inadequate because you're just not vibing on the same level. They can never understand you. The douche loops around you, uh, any broken relationship that you're suffering from right now, or any person who's around you who's trying to get with you that feels like, you know, they don't get you or they're trying to nag you, delete from day to day straight away. All right, Gemini, I'm so triggered, but I'm just going to do the intro because I love you so much. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm. Let's calm down a little bit. All right. I love you so much, Gemini, because as you know, you know, I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising, but I got that Gemini lifestyle. I got so I got a lot of Gemini. It's actually not that much, but I got Gemini very strategically in my chart. So I really like I relate to Gemini so much and like my communication is Gemini esque and I got Sagittarius and Gemini in that communication field. So uh, but Bill, we're, we belong to the god Mercury, the god Hermes. So, uh, you know, we're, we're the messengers of the gods. Not everyone can take it. Most people can't. So 90% of the people you've dated, they they try to... They, people attack the thing they fear. They fear what they don't understand, Gemini, but Bill. You're just a cut up. I'm, uh, I'm getting so triggered, but you really are. I see it. I feel it. Just take it, okay? Accept it. Whether it could be your family too, your even your friends, like you're never gonna. Who do you think you are? You're never gonna find someone like we all settle for for nothing. Yeah, then stay in that, stay in the swamp, but Bill, the Prince of Wands. Uh, it's not a reference to anyone political, by the way. Uh, the Prince of Wands in your past. So, you know, there were candidates, but unworthy ones. Some of you could be, you know, single for a long time, or you never got married. You've been waiting for, like, kind of like your mommy. You're waiting for that one big, one big fish, all right? You're waiting for that one big love because you know that you, because you know that you exist, because you know that you feel it. So you want it to come to you. And you're, uh, you're manifesting it right now, Bipu. Do not doubt yourself. It's being manifested for you right now. <clears throat> There's someone unworthy. You could have had like a fling or you're talking to someone who was an unworthy person. For some of you, if it was a relationship, you had a relationship with someone who was unworthy. But they wanted to make you feel unworthy. Don't listen to that, Bipu, because you're very sensitive. The stars, in your, uh, the stars uh, above your head, you know, that it gives you a great sensitivity to other people, but you're vibing, you're vibing on a vibration that the earth had a long time ago that we lost. So protect yourself, Bipu. Mm, the Five of Cups. Um, if you're hoping someone's going to give you an apology, you will be disappointed, Bipu. I'm, I'm telling you now. I'm so sorry. Let's clarify. What kind of apology is this? Could be from this Prince of Wands. Prince, princess, anyone in between? The higher font, yeah. It is the person who's nagging you, or who is nagging you. For some of you, it's a family member. It's someone you have a history with. Um, and for some of you, it's a douche flute. If it's a new, like, could be, you know, an ex or someone that you're still kind of, like, on and off with, and you're hoping that they're going to apologize and do the right thing. They don't know how. This is, you know, this is a worm. Don't, you know, the worm can't speak, all right? It, has, it doesn't have a doesn't have vocal cords, okay? It just can't do that. It is what it is. You're made for higher things. The reason why these people are being eliminated from your life is because you're made for higher things. Uh, the higher font here is telling me also that it could be someone, if it was a new person in your life, it's going to be, um, you know, someone who triggered childhood issues. Something about a history here. You have a history with whatever trigger it was, and you were hoping for an apology, or you were hoping for someone to make amends, and they just don't know how. They're incapable. They're hoping you're going to do it. They're hoping the empress is going to step in and do the work. The empress does not stoop with them, okay? The empress does not get out... She's in, she's on her throne, okay? She doesn't freaking lean in, okay? So just remember that. But they're hoping the Empress will do that work for them because you're so scrumptious and empathetic. And for some of you, it could be a family member. could be both, you know, who's been very toxic and negative in your life, just nugging you and nugging you and nugging you and hoping for an apology. It's not coming. So however this resonates, what you're not expecting is the Eight of Pentacles. Your manifestations are coming true, the bill. The beautiful rose in between all those pentacles is uh, the final product. So this is your end game. You've been manifesting something. You've been growing something. Also, any business idea you've had or any ventures that you've been going on recently are really coming up as very fruitful. Even if you feel like it's taken too long, it could have been a long time manifesting a high vibrational person into your life, but it's coming into fruition. I don't see this person very clearly yet. So it might be, you know, maybe they're not coming in March. Maybe they're coming April, May. 
June, the summer, you know, but something, there's a lot of Taurus, higher font twice, so it could be, you know, um, could be Taurus season, this person is coming in, but someone is coming, someone new, someone better, high vibrational, let's see, please show me angels of love, your prayers have been answered, yeah, eight of wands, Bill. by the end of the summer, you've got a whole new Bippo, but I think it's going to be way earlier than that, I think it's Taurus season, someone's coming in, or by Taurus season, you will be in something, and it's just someone taking a leap, they're just, kind of, look at this Bippo, they're just jumping in, boom, because you manifested it, because you're way more powerful than you think, this is your takeaway today, you are way more powerful than you think, preserve your energy, vibe with yourself, love on yourself, give to the goddess of love, the goddess Aphrodite, Venus, because you are in her energy, preserve it, don't let some douche flute, you know, it's, it's almost like, if you give access to a douche flute, then you're disrespecting the goddess because the goddess is with you, within you, you represent the goddess here, you know, God, anyone in between, so I'm just saying, but Bill. All right, Gemini, this is what I have for you today. Remember your sparkle and your scrumptiousness. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe, vibe with my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and all the usual stuff. And if you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. I'm sorry I got so triggered, but I love you so much, babe.